We're now ready to begin part two of this series titled Adding Interactivity. In this part we're going to discuss how you can add interactive elements such as branching and questions to your scenarios. And this is done in a very simple way by adding hyperlinks to your buttons within PowerPoint. And so to do this, once you have a button or screen element that you want to be selectable and will take the learner to a new page, all you need to do is select the button uh, on the on the screen, right click and choose hyperlink from the menu. This will bring up a dialog box that will give you several options. Now you could send the learner to a website if you wanted to, but in most cases if you want to keep them within the scenario and to actually do some branching, you actually choose the place in this document option. Now in this case we want the continue button to go to the next slide in the PowerPoint. So I can choose either next slide, and notice it gives me a preview there, or I could choose slide two. Now slide two, if I choose that, will keep that as a static uh, reference to that slide. So I'm going to do that and select OK. Now I'm going to go to slide two, and notice here I have the question slide that we set up in the previous uh, tutorial. Now, if the learner uh, in this example answers answer one, I want them to go to slide three. Or if they answer answer two, I want them to go to slide four. So this is the branching that we were discussing. So to do that, I would select the, the button for answer one, and I'm going to right click. And in this case, I'm going to do edit hyperlink. Now, I've already have it set up here, but if I were going to uh, redo this, I would select place in document. And I'm going to go choose slide three and it gives me the preview and I click OK. Now if I so if I go to slide three, that's what the learner will see. And I'm going to go back to our main slide two here. And, and I'm actually going uh, so if I'm going to select answer two, I, that's the incorrect answer. Uh, I'm going to select edit hyperlink. And in this case, currently it's going to slide three, but I want it to actually go to slide four. So I select that through the list, and notice slide four is the incorrect screen. I click OK. And now when the learner uh, clicks on answer two, they're going to go to slide four, not slide three. And so this allows you to do some branching and to customize the feedback that is given to the learners throughout the scenario. And so again, working in content chunks, if we were to, uh, to copy this, we could reuse this structure later on in our scenario. And the, again, we could just replace the text and, and the specific feedback given to the learner. Now, another example of, of branching is to uh, as just purely navigation. So here we're on the incorrect screen, and if I want the learner to go ahead and continue in the scenario, which in this case they're going to the last screen or the scenario key points, I would select the continue button, and I would right click, again edit the hyperlink, and in this case I'm going to this place in document, and select slide five, this goes to the scenario key points. I'm going to click OK. And now when the student clicks the continue button on that incorrect screen, they're going to go to the scenario key points. Now in this example, I have the button that says start over. So if I want the learner to be able to review the scenario again, uh, similarly I would have them, I would select the button, choose edit hyperlink from the menu, and then in this case I'm going to go to the first slide and I would click OK. And now when the learner selects start over, they will go to the first slide in the, in the uh, scenario list. So uh, this is an example of how you can add interactivity and how you can add navigation within PowerPoint just through using the action options that are available um, right within the PowerPoint program. Now briefly I'd like to discuss about how you can add flash content and YouTube content to your scenarios. Now this can be a very powerful feedback tool uh, if when they get something, if the student gets something incorrect, instead of giving them text, maybe they give them a video explanation of why uh, they got the, the question incorrect. And this could be done through posting something on YouTube or through a, a flash interaction. Now, uh, from, the, from the links in the download, you should have the iSpring free plugin. And if we select the slide that we want to add the content on and go select iSpring free from the ribbon, I have two options. I can either add flash content just by clicking the button, and I would choose the flash content from my computer. 
or I can add YouTube content by selecting the YouTube option and just pasting a link to the YouTube video in that video link and then clicking OK and that will actually add the, the video content to the PowerPoint slide and when it's posted in your online course the student will uh, be able to view that video uh, content when they view that slide. So in this uh, part of the series, we discuss how you can add interactivity to your scenario to create branching and navigation and thus creating questions uh, for students to answer within your scenario. In part three, the final part of the series, we're going to talk about how you can publish your scenario uh, for use in your online or technology enhanced classroom.